It's a crash anyone would be lucky to survive. A Formula One car bursting into flames during a race broadcast live around the world. Incredibly, the driver walked away with just minimal injuries, saved by a piece of safety equipment he once condemned. There are fans of F1 all over the world, be it kids or adults, all of them root for their favorite driver and their steering skills. But at times, they've experienced the unexpected that happened backstage as well as the grid. Number 10. Ever thought of an F1 car's wheels popping off? Now that's what happened to a Red Bull car. It was in the 2010 Chinese Grand Prix while Sebastian Bumi was behind the steering of a Red Bull beast. It was a frightening accident that has never gotten old in F1 history, both because of how the Toro Rosso driver survived and the loss Red Bull suffered. The Shanghai circuit has always been a nightmare for F1 drivers, especially for someone who is aiming for a position on the podium. But in the 2010 Chinese Grand Prix, it was Bumi's turn to suffer. When he was heading down the Shanghai circuit, while he braked, the front upright failed, causing both wheels to tether and pop off, leaving the car out of control, which finally glided into the grave. Number 9. But this might seem even more dangerous. Now this is an F1 car flying in the air. Yep, you heard that right. This happened in the Italian Grand Prix in 2019. The man behind the steering wheel was the Australian Formula 3 driver Alex Peroni. The car he handled flipped in the air while he tried to run wide in a parabolic corner which ended up in him hitting one of the curbs set between the runway and the track. That moment of flying not only shocked the F1 paddock but the whole world of F1. The contact with the curb resulted in an intense spin through the air which ended up in the car landing upside down outside the grid. It not only took his points away but also broke one of his vertebrae. Number 8. The F1 paddock still remembers the crash that might have cost Mark Webber a lot. This unforgettable incident happened in the 2010 European Grand Prix at Valencia. Mark Webber was having a hard start to the 2010 season, especially the European Grand Prix. But his hard try to get back to the pace didn't end well. His intense try to overtake Lotus in lap 10 resulted in his front right tire catching the rear left of Lotus's car driver Keiki Kovalainen. Weber's car landed upside down at its nose and then crashed into the tire barrier nearby. What surprised the F1 paddock and the F1 fabs was that he was unharmed in this grave accident. Number 7. Off-stage stage craziness is not something new for the F1 family. The F1 world still remembers the drunk Kimi Raikkonen on the stage. This crazy event happened at the FIA Prize Gala in 2018. He was the show stealer of the day and food for the internet for the next two days. He was on the stage to accept the award along with Sebastian Vettel. Number 6. Can Rain be a villain in F1? It can be, says Lewis Hamilton. What Rain did to him and the others at the European Grand Prix was unbelievable. The race was hit by unbearable rain, which caused the drivers to quit by spinning off the track. Jensen Button was the first to spin off, followed by Lewis Hamilton and others. Even though the drivers were looking towards a Grand Prix that could enhance the probability of their title chances, rain appeared to be the villain here. The rain simply snatched the title from the giants of the European Grand Prix by transforming the track into a river. Number 5. The 1993 Belgian Grand Prix was unforgettable for Christian Fittipaldi. As others were rushing towards the finish line, Fittipaldi and Pierre Luigi Martini were running close to each other. Even when Fittipaldi had the chance to overtake Martini, he didn't. And finally, when he decided to do so, the timing Christian Fittipaldi choosing to overtake Pierre Luigi Martini was wrong. As a result, Fittipaldi's M193 was a little too close to Martini and it hit the back of Martini's car which ended up in Fittipaldi's beast fleeing into the air like nothing else and took a 360 degree backflip before landing. Though no one else was hurt in the incident that took place, it was a potential reason for a conflict that started between Christian Fittipaldi and Pierre Luigi Martini later in their career. Number 4. This could be a one-time thing in F1. Ayrton Senna's performance in the 1991 Brazilian Grand Prix is said to have been a one-time miracle on the grid. Compared to the others on the grid, he had a perfect start in the race, 
However, when Senna pitted, Mansell cut it loose and took the lead in 7 seconds. However, the situation was against Senna as his gearbox began to fail when Mansell was chasing. As Senna lost the fourth gear, Mansell cut the lead to half early, taking Senna's position. But luck was on Senna's side from there. At the 67th lap, Mansell started to experience his own gearbox problem, which finally resulted in a split and exit from the race. Senna only had the sixth gear left, but unbelievably, he managed the lead and hit the finish line like nothing else. Number 3. This was the crazy thing that no one expected in the Canadian Grand Prix. In 2011, the Canadian Grand Prix paddock just witnessed a miracle, yes they did. That was the best comeback the F1 world has ever witnessed and that too from the cockpit of Jensen Button. No one expected that Jensen Button would come back as a phoenix to cross the finish line overhauling the rest. Button had a rough start in the 2011 Canadian Grand Prix. On lap 7, he collided with his teammate Lewis Hamilton, resulting in his exiting the match early. But when the race was resumed, Button was given a penalty for the same, leaving him in the 15th position. A comeback was impossible at that point, but he didn't give up. To make it even worse, he again got into another collision with Fernando Alonso of Aston Martin on lap 37. Number 2. It was 21-year-old Vettel Magic in Monza. The budding star's effort was acknowledged in that Italian Grand Prix. It was not only Vettel's first win, but also the win of a small team like Toro Rosso. What made it even more special was Vettel's outrageous performance, which made him finish with a 12-second lead over McLaren. The Toro Rosso team principal then said, It's just unbelievable. Sebastian wrote something about Formula One history today. We also dream of a podium, and the first podium is P1 in Monza, the most amazing racetrack in the world. These words meant the world to Vettel rather than the one place on the podium. Number 1. This was the worst F1 grid can expect. What about just one car taking down 7 others? That sounds devastating, right? Well, it was. This happened in the 2021 Hungarian Grand Prix. This grid was the platform for many things that surprised the paddock, but the best among them is the mega collision that was staged on the grid. F1 races have always been about more than who hits the finish line first. They're about the drastic decisions that drivers make and the control they have over their steering. When they cut loose on one of them, it results in some crazy moments that will leave a mark in the history of the F1 saga, just like the craziness that we witnessed. Now which one do you think will be carved as the craziest moment among all the F1 saga? Please let us know in the comment box below. Also, please like the video and share it with your fellow F1 fans. Please be sure to check in by pressing the bell icon and subscribing for more F1 related content. Bye for now.